Hey everybody, Elgin Walker here, EXP Realty, uh, part of the Elgin and Pilar Walker team. Guess which one I am? Yes, you you guessed Elgin, you guessed correctly. Hey, going to just kind of talk about in general the market right now, uh, what's going on, what, what I feel is going on, what appears to be going on, what may be going on. Hell, maybe I don't know anything that's going on, but I'm going to tell you what I feel right now. And now seriously though, what I'm seeing and, and possibly anticipating. So overall, in the markets that I work. So let's start with those. Say are there are other markets right now or good friends of mine, good friends of mine that uh, work in different areas, different cities, um, different states, and they are experiencing some different things than I'm experiencing. Uh, some of these areas are experiencing uh, price uh, uh, declines. Uh, some of them are, are experiencing absolutely no sales at all. Their market is really uh, a stagnant uh, right now. Uh, that's not totally the case in the areas that I service, the parts of California that I'm in and the areas that I specialize in the most. So here's what I'm still seeing. I'm still seeing that we have we still have more uh, people looking to buy than we do homes for sale. But I am seeing uh, homes be on the market a little bit longer. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing the values come down yet. Maybe a little bit here and there. I mean, but no real value. Like you're not seeing a 10, 15, 20 percent drop overall yet in our market i don't know that you'll see that um i'm not anticipating that by the way but that then that's not happening right now uh there are a few things that i do feel are happening we'll start with the buyers on the buying side of this uh i think that one with all the talk about interest rates coming down interest rates coming down interest rates coming down interest rates are coming down well i'm finding that that type of talk, now this has happened before, many years, many years in this, in this industry, in this game, is that people then want to see how low they're going to go. Well, I'm not going to buy right now because the rates are going down. I'm going to wait and see how the rates go and how low they go, and I'm going to buy. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. So let's start with problem number one. Problem number one, in my opinion, is that if you have the ability to purchase right now and the market is moving a little bit slower, uh, why not get in, buy now, Let's assume it's something you like, and it is a for affordable. You know, I don't want you to set yourself up for failure, but buy now. And if the rates do drop considerably, you you at that point have already secured your piece of real estate. You've already secured your home, and you can always refinance it then and bring your payment down. Now, don't buy counting on that, but that is an option that you'll have. And in my opinion, it's a better option than this one, whereas you're just going to wait. Rates drop. And now in rates drop, now you want to jump in the game. Well, here's the problem. Unless a lot of inventory comes on the market when the rates drop, I mean, can you imagine if the rates went down about 5% right now? The rates went down about 5% or 4 and 3 quarters. What would happen? What would happen is that we'd be like we were two years ago. You're going to have buyers that are coming in. There's going to be not many homes for sale. So you're going to have more buyers uh, 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 bidding on the same home. And those bids are going to then drive the prices probably up. And you're going to be dealing with stuff like no uh, uh, appraisal contingencies and no physical inspection contingencies and as is. You know, you're going to be dealing with all of that stuff. So why do you, not to mention, you, you know, obviously with that, you have more competition because there's more people that can afford the home. So I, I would not wait for that. But I do believe people are sitting on their hands waiting to see. Where, and that's one of the things they're waiting to see. It's human nature. I get it. Uh, you may have to based upon your circumstances, but if your circumstances aren't uh, forcing you to do that, get pre-approved, be looking now. If you see something, if it fits for you and your family and it's affordable, jump in while you don't have the same competition. Uh, also, for both buyers and sellers, during the elections and a federal election like we have right now, and it's very contentious and you know, blah, 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 drama, 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 all of that stuff. Well, people, people, people want certainty. And when you have that going on as well, uh, normally during federal elections, I see it slow down when it gets uh, this close to the elections. But I believe it slowed a lot sooner this time. And I believe there are a lot more people that are also, quote unquote, sitting on their hands, kind of waiting to see who wins, what direction it goes in and what they start saying after the election. You know, there's a difference, you know, after the election on what they're saying uh, in regards to what, you know, politically uh, uh, their focus is going to be on and what's going on in the world. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world, man. So people are concerned and they're kind of waiting and seeing. Some people are just sitting on their cheese waiting to make a, a, a decision 
and or waiting to make a move. Sellers, honestly, if you put one is don't expect your home to sell in five minutes. Now, if your home, if you if you if you need your home to sell in five minutes, we need to price it accordingly. Do we need to give it away? Absolutely not. But do we need to price it aggressively? Absolutely. We want to price the home aggressively, um, you know, based upon the new policies that we have out there right now, uh, with the way brokers are compensated. We want to make sure that uh, we are putting our property in the best light with um, uh, um, um, buyers and buyers agents to try to make sure you get your your net goal of what you're hoping to get. And what is your motivation? If your motivation is if I can get this price, we'll put it on the market and we'll sell it. You shouldn't get on the market yet. You, yeah, it's not the market for that. It's not the market for that. All it's, going, all it's doing is cluttering up things. You you need to come on the market with the intention of selling, meaning that the property you're going to have a, it's a good product uh, that you put on the market. You're going to have a good aggressive price, not giving it away, but just an aggressive price. You're going to let the home be shown and seen. Uh, it's going to be exposed. You're going to allow pictures. You know, you know, if if, if everything works out properly for your family, you have a lockbox or that. Excuse me, that is easy to show. I don't care whether that's a lockbox or not, but it needs to be easy to show. So if people aren't going out of their way to have to show your house, you want them to be easy to show. So I'm seeing that. Also, I, I believe that the sellers right now are more than uh, tuned in when you explain to them the new policies in regards to how realtors you know, are working, especially if you're showing your value. Uh, I'm seeing that on the buyer side as well. It's really more new for the buyer than the sellers. So I don't see that that being a major change in how we do business. As a matter of fact, I think there's certain parts of it that are much more professional. Some of it is just going to take some getting used to it. There's some things about it I would love to change, I would like to change, I don't think are necessarily best for the consumer. But this is what we have right now. This is the cards and the hand that we have. So we deal with it and help families the best way that we can. All right. So that's kind of what I'm seeing in the market right now. You know, who knows? That might be different in the next 30 days or so. But that's what's going on now. A, market is pretty healthy. I'm not seeing prices deteriorate. Uh, B, I'm seeing homes stay on the market a little bit long overall. Not every home, but overall. Uh, I'm seeing people kind of waiting and seeing and being a little nervous about what direction the interest rates go. And I'm seeing people wait a little bit nervous to see what's happening with the election. Those are my thoughts. Those are my observations. And that being said, if you remember, if there's anything we can do to assist you, we'd love to be a help. God bless you. And remember, no matter what you're going through in life, it's just a temporary condition because things do change. And it truly is. It's a great life. God bless.